Hi, I'm Ann Kim, and I'm CTO of this company, Secure AI Labs. Secure AI Labs enables drug discovery from failed clinical trial data without doing anything that violates privacy. This avoids all of the lengthy review processes as well as expensive anonymization that is traditional for this type of analysis. This is based on my work here at the MIT Media Lab with Sandy Pentland and the Human Dynamics Group. My thesis was in clinical trial data sharing using OPAL or open algorithms. But why do we need frameworks like OPAL or open algorithms anyway? Oop. <laughs> so it's because analysis is not very easy. I would think you just have a data set, you have some code, you run it, and you get some analysis or imagination and action. But it's not that simple. There's a lot of regulations in place to protect the contents of the data privacy, as well as the liability in running unvetted code. So traditionally, when you're trying to broker any sort of collaboration between uh, companies that have data or companies that have algorithms, the only technical assurance of data usage compliance is a firewall. So what this looks like is if I'm a large pharmaceutical company that is generating billions of dollars of failed clinical trial data every year, and I'm trying to work with a biotech company who has a really new uh, AI algorithm for drug discovery, the way that this would work is we'd use a firewall. So I have this big lump of data, and I throw it over to the firewall of the biotech company. Then they can run their analysis to do drug discovery. Or alternatively, the biotech company will send me their algorithm over the firewall of the pharmaceutical company, have it run locally, and then send back the results. Meanwhile, both companies have to wonder, how is the data actually being managed behind that firewall? Is it being copied anywhere? Or how is the algorithm being used by the big pharmaceutical company? How many times is it being used? Is it being copied by big pharma? Who knows, right? Big firewall. So instead, our solution is twofold. First, we use OPAL, or federated learning, in order to protect the data. So what this means is, this is the same technology that Google actually uses to train object detection algorithms on your phone without stealing any of your photos. Second, we use enclaves, which Ned Smith mentioned earlier. Enclaves are actually the hardware that's in your iPhone that has your um, fingerprint in it, and it can securely run an algorithm to uh, vet your identity without actually leaking your fingerprint data at all. So combined, our solution looks like this black box that actually ensures that the computation is happening in a uh, usage compliant way. Meanwhile, everything is automatically audited, so everyone knows exactly what's happening. Some of the usage of this technology includes on-device uh, diagnosis as well as distributed analysis and drug discovery. Just last month, we worked with a pharmaceutical company here in Cambridge to train a random forest algorithm and machine uh, to do machine learning on their molecular library. This took 10 minutes. Alternatives would take up to a week. So if any of this interests you, uh, please contact me. I'm Ann at uh, Secure AI Labs. And if you're interested in any sort of like data licensing or algorithm protection, please let me know. Thank you.